Hi, welcome back all of you, Nanak. And then we end the next day's uh, program on this uh, supplier qualification management. So let me go and then share my screen now. <clears throat> so he is having uh, from, uh, some problem in EHRN. We'll now see oh, what is it now. EHRN. <clears throat> Samir is having some problem on this now. So let me go and then log in. He is saying on the locations front, there is some problem. <clears throat> Fine, click on signing now. This is going to work for a long time. Right? This is an Oracle instance and then they won't purge at all, anything. The only thing is it will be down for some time and then it will again come back. Fine. What is the setup and maintenance? I will not go to the managed locations. Go to the search. Manage locations. So I will not go to the managed locations. <clears throat> So I go there. I'm going to create now. I click on create. <clears throat> you are creating the location now. So we go down. Fine. You are saying the postal code and other things are not coming. It doesn't matter. You write it manually. Okay, fine. Go there. Click on it. And then state is New York. If it is not coming as a list of value, you write everything manually. Fine. City is in. Uh, so we can put anything in that case here or. Uh... Yeah, it may validate. It doesn't matter. Fine. It didn't wait. If it is not validating it, again, make a change and then try. Okay? The new R. So here, there is no list of values available. So try to, what happens, uh, find out some alternate way of all these things. Now. Right. So, no, so, uh, TST, and then I'll, uh, this is a TST, find TST, and then TST. Let me save it and then see whether it is not getting saved or not. I tried to create it, but it was not, uh, it was throwing no. error. Okay. So I give a 0 0 NY. State is NY, city New York, fine. Go that click on it. I will not give a save. I will not see whether it saves or not. <clears throat> okay. Enter a unique location code. Now, fine. Okay. Test is already there. Okay. Fine. Test one. Fine. One, two, three. So test one, two, three. And test one, two, three. And then click on save. <clears throat> So this is the one. Fine, it's not got same. So it, it is in, validates only It validates only location code, Nana. So it should be five digit in US. That's it. Ah, 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 ah. who is this? Yeah. Mohammed. Shah, Mohammed. Yeah. yeah. So it should be five digit, which is ah, yours. Mohammed Adam is saying that uh, this should be minimum five digits or something like that. No, five it's digit only. Submit is not giving error actually. So try, try, try different things. Right. Yeah. It's not a big thing. And then if you put in New York in the state, it will not work. NY will work. Fine. So there may be some validation somewhere. Now. So whatever you do on the other one, please make a check and then do it. Okay? So check, check, check and then do it. If you still have a problem, whatever is a come to me, I will not. Will not. Hey, Avinash, how do you find the supplier qualification management? You are a financial guy, actually. Do you like it? Or it's very tough? Uh, no, no, it is good, actually. No, I just need to give it a try and then see how I'll be able to achieve it. Very good, very good. Avinash is a financial guy. And then if you have any integration issues and other things, what happens, we can talk to him. He will be able to help you out on this. <laughs> good. So let us now begin our uh, activity on today. Now, and today I'm going to begin. Now, uh, I will now begin an activity. <clears throat> so click on the So I will now, what happens, I will now go out of it. Now, I will now close the EHR and find it. I will now go to our uh, one. Now. We will now work, we will now work on vision now. So dev23 is the one, fine, right click and then duplicate, uh, copy the link, fine. I will not copy the link. So we have a dev23, I'm going to work on the dev23 now. Fine, click on it. I will now work on dev23. So we are working on dev23 for creating a manual initiative. Now. Today, we are going to create a manual initiative. That yesterday's instance has been purged actually. So I thought of continuing today and then showing it to you, but they have purged it. The dev25 has been purged out. Wow, it's very, very difficult to work with Oracle actually. So much of a problem. So I will now go to PRC 10 now, fine, PRC 10. <clears throat> Let me log in. And then all the PRCs are having a PRC all role. So the PRC all role will now facilitate you to work on all the six pillars actually. No need to add any roles, fine, no data access, nothing is required for it. So PRC 10, <clears throat> to PRC 1 to PRC 0, 1 to PRC 40, everything is having a PRC all role. So because of which, what happens, everything will come. So I'm now going to make PRC 10 as a owner actually, STM owner. So first thing is what I will now go there. I will now reset the email to my email ID because it will be sending the emails to the owner actually. It will be sending the emails to the owner. 
no longer the border tools. I will not change in the security console. Let me change the email ID to my email. <clears throat> So we'll now go to the users, and then here I will not query this. We got PRC 10. So let me change it to my uh, what email ID so that the messages will come to me now. I will now edit and then change the email ID. <coughs> I go to the users, and then I'm going to edit. Now if I click on edit, <coughs> I'm editing it. And then here I will now change it to my email ID. So this is one, I will now say it is nana.app60. So the mail is fine. So I now change it and click on save and close by which what happens? The messages has to come to me now. <clears throat> Even upon changes, one message has to come. But in vision, normally not messages are not exactly coming up. And that is another problem. Uh, there may be some setups on the BPM area. Fine. If you know it, what happens? Please educate all of us now. <clears throat> So normally it has to give a message that what happens is the email ID or whatever it is not change now. I'm not coming okay. <clears throat> and then now for PRC 11 is going to be my internal responder now. Fine. I will now reset the password for PRC 11. And go to the place. PRC 11 is going to be my internal responder for the manual initiative. <clears throat> you click on it. And then we are now going to create a manual initiative. Click on reset password. Let me reset the welcome article. So click on reset password. So the password is reset for the PRC 11 actually. He is going to be the internal responder for this. <laughs> now, we are now going to create a manual initiative for a preventive maintenance in our company, in Steel Authority, I used to do it now. And that too, way back in 1983. Fine, there are no computers, no desktop, no laptop, no mobile, no internet, nothing. Fine, everything is manual actually. <laughs> we will have a big typewriter in which what happens, I will now make an initiative uh, with all the requirements. And then I will know there is a photocopying machine <clears throat> that will now take a photocopy of it within three minutes time. So it will actually take a photograph and then it will now process it and then a, a negative and then positive everything will be taken and then finally it will be given to you. They will be having a big, uh, what's called, uh, your frame now, the frame, they will now keep uh, the, what's called, uh, the uh, um, chemical coated paper and then uh, they will now process that fine. Also the photo is taken, that will be processed. They will now put some powders and then they will now rotate the frame actually. And then uh, by doing it, in about three minutes time, you'll be getting a photocopy now. <clears throat> so that way we used to make, and then we'll now send everything we post to the supplier actually. <clears throat> Remember the very, very difficult task which we used to know. <laughs> so that way used to. So now <clears throat> this has been changed. Fine. My, what's called, my 10 has been changed and then 11 is now password reset. Fine. We'll now go to the, what's called, first of all, we'll now go to the, as the Telec and others were saying yesterday, we will now set up the start number of the initiative and assessment now. <clears throat> <laughs> Nana, sir, now we have forgotten that word photocopy. Now it is Xerox. <laughs> See, that time they will even give a token to us in uh, Steel Authority. Uh, there will be always some 10, 15 people will be rushing. And then they will all give a token. And then uh, we had to wait for half an hour to get a photocopy, actually. <laughs> uh, now the Xerox machine has come, okay? So much has uh, changed, actually. <clears throat> Photocopy means really you photo. You take a photograph <laughs> to the copy. We are having the photocopiers at home. It's so compactable as come. <laughs> it's really very funny now. Right? And our age, when taking a photocopy, I will not send my boy, uh, office boy only. <clears throat> we will not go on and stand. Our office boy will go and then stand in the queue and then he will now take the token and then he will now take the photocopy. <laughs> Nana, uh, did you change the password for uh, PRC 11 also? Yeah, yeah, PRC 11 I already changed. Oh, you came a bit late, nothing. So I changed the 11. No, sir, I think I think you have not changed the email address for that. Email address is not required, only password is required. Not required. Okay. Uh, 10 is only email is required. So 7 11 only password is to. <clears throat> so procurement document numbering. <clears throat> so we go to the procurement document numbering <clears throat> and go to the place and then you know, set up the <clears throat> document number. Initiated to 4,000 and then assessment to 5,000. Go there. <clears throat> Determinant value is what? US1. And then make a search. Now, fine, click on search. So once when you search for it, it will be all coming on. So we have negotiation, <clears throat> purchase agreement, purchase order registration. Fine, we'll go on the active. Go there, click on it. I will now make the initiative first of all. The initiative is the one, fine. Determinant value is what? US1. <clears throat> the procurement view is US1 business unit. And go there. So the number is going to be 4,000. 
<coughs> we are going to start that uh, procurement contract. Yeah? No, 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 no. We are going to we are continuing on the scheme only. <coughs> so initiative, I know that not. I don't know. You know that. You know, continuing on the scheme only. <coughs> US one. So both of US one. I'm going to take my camera. Initiative US one. So I will not say the information document. What is this here? Fine. They throw the error immediately. Fine. Four thousand is the one. I will not give a say because it's not accepting it or not. Fine. Next number for the initiative for the oh but token view is common. Fine. Oh God, it is not coming at all. Fine. I had to query it. I think <clears throat> it is already there. It seems. No, or I must cancel it and then come out of it. No going side. It looks like it is already there. I want to go there. I will not double check. Query this. I am going to query more now. Fine. Go to the query more. It is initiative INIT. So here, uh, determinant determinant value is what US one. Fine. Uh, enter in one query. It looks like it is already there. Fine. It is not there at all. I click on trust. <coughs> it is not there. So I will not make it as an initiative. <coughs> initiative is BU. Fine. I will not put on this value. Fine. US one. <coughs> I am not putting the procurement is US one. Why the combination of document type and determinant value must be unique actually. Document type and then the determinant value must be unique. If it is already there, why it's not showing me here now? If it is already there, why it's not showing me? Come on, I understand why it's not. I will not delete it now. So give a cancel. No, no, check from the top one uh, document type. Okay. Or uh, determinant. Go there. Document type is what initiative, and then click on search now. Such for the initiative. So initiative procurement BU fine. All these things are available, but my BU is not there at all in the initiative. Ah, what is this? So click on plus. I will now make the assessment first of all. Save it now. Don't see whether it works or not. Fine. Assessment I'm making that. Assessment. Determinant values again. What happens? The BU fine. Years one business unit. <coughs> I don't understand. Maybe the maybe the user has a restriction in the data set. Data set doesn't come into picture at all <clears throat> for this numbering. Numbering data set doesn't come into picture. <clears throat> it doesn't. doesn't. Up down the determinant value and then we'll make a search and then I'll not try to populate directly. No, US one. Something, something it is not allowing me at all. <clears throat> US one business unit. Oh god, one second. I have not made him as a procurement agent. That is the reason. Yeah. This guy has not been made as a procurement agent. It's got a manage percentage, procurement percentage, fine. Agent percentage. You have to make him first of all as a procurement agent. That is the must. Thank you. I will not make him as a procurement agent. <clears throat> that is one thing, Nana sir. And this user, we need to see the relevant roles are there for this user. So PRC all is a role. That is more than sufficient. PRC okay. all role will now give him uh, functionality for all the six modules actually. Oh, okay. Because yesterday we had given for that user uh, specific uh, qualification yeah, management. Course, it, right? We made a, our own user. No? Okay. okay. That is the PRC user. Man. It is what's called student, comma, PRC 10. <clears throat> These are all vision users. No? Fine. Vision users have got PRC. All means what? Every functionality is available for them. Here's one business unit. So go there. Okay. Full view, full access, full. <clears throat> And then those four roles I told you, you know, it's not required at all. <clears throat> they are all fully competent now. Go to placement. Click on save and close now. I'm not saving it. So I have not made him as a friend. I will now make the responder also as a what's called a procurement agent. Now. So everybody must be a procurement agent, then only you can work on. So those who are working on SQL area, they must be a procurement agent. So the procurement is what US1. US1 is the one. Not. The agent is a student. Comma PRC 11. <clears throat> Full. 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 Click on save and close. So now both of them are procurement agents. Now if you go to the procurement document numbering, it will allow you. And everybody must be a procurement or whatever the agent actually. And then the configure requisitioning business function, configure procurement business function, everything is set in vision. Right? There's no problem. So go to the manage right? procurement document numbering. <clears throat> so we go to the document numbering. 
So go to the manage procurement document numbering. <clears throat> go there. So let me add. So click on plus. I'm going to add. So go there. So here I will now make it as what initiative. This time it should not see any error. Die. Go there. There's one. I'm looking. At. Don't shout. Oh God, now also is shouting. <laughs> Combinant type and then a determinant value must be unique. Now. Initiative, the document type and then initiative is not that. Come on, why is so? <clears throat> if you go and then query on this one, I will not delete it. I will not query for it. Now, when one, you know, see how many are available there. Now. We are now working on the US one business unit. So go to this place. <clears throat> so US one and then entering. <clears throat> So here's one, I'm entering in. So negotiations there, all these things are there. Uh, shall I change this to initiative and I'll see whether it's not working or not. It, it is not allowing. Nana, does this need to manage data access? Data access is not required. Right we don't need any data access. On the procurement side, no data access is required. Right. Numbering should not uh, give any problem at all. Fine, everything is coming fine, but in fact, it's not coming. I don't know why. Somebody make an R&D in that. Right? So I'm unable to set the initial numbers of the initiative and the assessment actually. <clears throat> so uh, that is the one thing click on the one. We know one thing, uh, we have to go and then create a supplier. Okay? First of all, I have to create a supplier. Now for uh, doing it, uh, for what happens, uh, creating an initiative, the supplier portal must be enabled. You must have a license for the supplier portal. Otherwise you cannot do it. An initiative will not work if a supplier portal license is not obtained actually. We go that one. We don't go to the place. <clears throat> we don't go to the procurement now. I don't go to the procurement and then I go to the suppliers and suppliers. Yesterday I was sending some uh, thing. Now, fine. Here, if you go on and see on this place, some messages came big late. Actually, the training, if you say, <clears throat> if you go on and label training, I think, fine. Label, uh, label training, if you go on and search for it. So I got some messages from the system. Now, fine. Uh, where the one there? Training, all these things that these are all different. One. Negotiation award process will be not one. No, no, say training. What is training? Uh, what do you mean? No, 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 no. Another one. I forgot. Somewhere I stored it, but uh, not in this place. Oh, sorry. I right click and then I have to, I have, no, and the apps dot on outside. The apps dot not on. If you go there, I will now bring the apps dot on. And then here, I will now go to what uh, the training and label training. <clears throat> the app's on my label training. So I got some messages here on the system, right? So you can see, this is the message that's come up and intuition no reply. So this message, we are having Ananta 10, Nana 10, remember? Point, it is 11, it's a different one now, it's 11. And then if you go to the supplier contact, so, fine, okay. so now for Ananta 10 and Nana 10, it is now given now, fine. It is a enterprise name, that is where it's coming. And then a mail has come, and then it shows you all the roles which has been assigned to the user. Right? Ananta 10, Nana 10, it is not showing you all the roles which have been assigned to the user. Actually. That is one. And then for the password reset, also, I got a message. For the password reset, also, I got a message. But it all came late, actually. Supply registration request was, yeah, this one. See, supply registration request was approved, and this is a different one. The 19th September is the other one. So, likewise, it will come. If you are registering it, what happens? A message will come like this. <clears throat> And then it'll also show you the password reset information also. Ah, uh, where is it here? Somewhere, label training is not showing me clearly actually. <clears throat> if you click on the inbox, okay, there are so many mails which have come, so it will be very difficult for us to identify now. I get a lot of things. You should contact user ID, fine, user account, fine, okay. This is one on the infusion, no reply. And then uh, we have to go up and then see, fine. I got uh, even that message also. <clears throat> okay, we yeah, will now see later on. <clears throat> So it, in the in the vision instance, what happens is the biggest problem. So the uh, the row the memes do not flow properly. So I will now go on and create a supplier. Now. Let us now create a supplier. <clears throat> so click on it. I will now go to create supplier. So this time, what happens? Is, uh, we are now using yes now. The previous case, I will now use the same one. Yes zero one underscore sub underscore one. Go there. So if it is coming like this, you click outside. It will go in. In this page, if you click, go there. So go there. I will now make it a spend operation and go there. Make it as a corporation. Thank you, contract. Now I'm now making a manual survey. And then I'm going to qualify for a preventive maintenance initiative. I'm going to qualify and assess. <clears throat> so what are the things I'm going to do? So let me have the supplier in place actually. 
will go to the main area and then from there we will not start to what happens do the accessing <coughs> So S01 sub one is now getting created as assistant operator supplier. So go there. So somebody has enabled all this nonsense actually. What to do fine? So many people are working on it. Nothing. Click on age of supplier. And then whatever is mandatory, let me give it nothing. Age of supplier. Go there. They are practicing it, so we can't help it. Nothing. So only these two are mandatory. Every additional information is being given. Nothing. All the four additional mandatory information are being given. I go to the payments. Nothing. Go to the payments. Select it. And then go there and then put tick mark on this. The tick mark is there. I will now give one save now and save. And then I go to the address and let me get the address on S01 sub one and go to get the address now. So go to the address. <coughs> let me get the address now. So click on plus and then let me get the address. So both the 10 and 11 are procurement agents actually. Maybe if I log out and log in, we'll now see whether you're able to give the numbering or not. So I'll go to the address. S01. <coughs> uh, address name. Go there. It is the United States. So I'm putting United States over and I'm going to put the postal code <coughs> 10020. And then I just line one thing. Yes, zero one. I just line one. So may enable for ordering and remit to find email is not a mandatory one. Can leave it nothing. Check on seven proof by which order the addresses. Sometimes order the evil in class. Jingu check on at the rate katamucha.com and something I'm giving it now. Sometimes what I mean, it may be mandatory actually. <clears throat> it will not give something. Okay. So we'll not submit for it and then it will not go for what happens approval. So it will not go for internal profile change approval. <clears throat> and then uh, that has been set to automatic actually. Internal profile change approvals and it can be changed to So the number is what? 86049 is the one. If you go down and then if you refresh it, what happens? It will be showing on the main screen <clears throat> and then choose your supplier now. So for the supplier, what happens? If you go down. So for this one, you'll not find it. Here's 01 supplier. Find it on. So it's one. Find it on. So in this place, what happens? This is the number now. 86049. If you click on it, what happens? It has to come as submit as well as approve. Submit and approve because it's automatic. So you'll be getting both the things. Go down. So click on the submit. Fine. It will not say to whom it has gone now. <clears throat> if the approval is not come, so if you click on it, what happens? It will not show you to whom it has gone. Fine. Probably it must have gone now. Fine. Click on done. Fine. It's not coming up. Fine. And then I will not go to the managed supplies and then query for supplier. Click on it. I will not go to the managed suppliers. Managed suppliers. Let me go to the S01 and then see whether the approval has taken place or not. S01. <clears throat> so click on search now. Search. <clears throat> so it is not done now. Fine. Come. It will not go ahead. But for supply registration, it will now go for a registration approvals as well as a spend authorized approval. Fine. That is. Click on bring it edit mode. And then I go to the contact. Mode. When we are registering it, fine. Only internal supplier profile change approval is the only one which is required. So click on edit. And then if you set it to automatic, it will be getting approved. And you go to the contacts now, fine. So I'm now bringing into the edit mode. I go to the contacts and then let me get a contact. <clears throat> so go to the contact. Oh God. Everything is lost. Come on. I sent everything now. I don't know why it's so. Choose it. Go there. Ah. So the one now fine. Click on the gender and gender female. So these are all now done. Yeah. 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 The profile is now there. Fine. Click on the contacts. I will now give a save now. Click on save. I'm given it. Then why it is not taken down? Then I go to the contacts and then I will not see whether <clears throat> I will not see the address first of all. Address is there or not? Thank you. Oh, address itself is not there. Come on, yeah. What happened to the address? The address is lost. Yes, zero one. No, no, the address might not have been approved still. It might be under approval. Just check oh, in the uh, overview if, screen. If it is there, it will be showing here actually. Not necessarily that upon approval, it has, it has to come over here. Okay? United States. Okay. Can you give it? United States. So I now give a different name now. So I will not see what is not going on. I will not go to the postal code 10020. <clears throat> a different name I'm giving it. What happens? It doesn't clash even if it is uh, in the approval process. So go there. Here's the zero one time. Address line one one. Fine. Something is different now. So ordering and remit to. <clears throat> Fine. I will now give some other email ID. Fine. 
click on save and close the address and then i will now submit it again so last time it didn't do it and click on submit please you know submitting along that does not you can see what happens internal 6860050 is now submitted thank you for that man if you make a search on this one you can search you have to find the uh, ia account coming up now right? uh, it's coming so you now wait for the ia account to get completed so once when the ia account is now completed then what happens you can go ahead and then create the sign structure <coughs> So previously the IA account itself, now it has gone off and click on it. I will now bring it to the edit mode. So go to the edit mode now and click on edit mode. I now brought the edit mode. Go back. So if you go to the address, you must have the address. I mean, we got. So it's very, very difficult to work on it. I mean, click on it. People make some changes and then what are the other changes they made? I don't understand now. Between 10 to 20. <clears throat> Is there any limitations on this? No, fine. If you give uh, age of the supplier five to ten, I given fine. Now it's what uh, more than five years. Fine, no, more than five years. <clears throat> Is there any validation they made or not? I'm not very sure, but it. So, tenth past. <clears throat> I'm going to point everything is going to click on the save at this stage. And I'll save it. Now. The save data is saved actually. And go to the address. Go to the address. If you go to the contact because address itself is not there, the contact will not come at all. If you go to the plus, you won't find the address at all coming out. <coughs> the contact, if you go on and try to add, it will not come at all. Even actions, you go to what select map, you won't find the address coming in the bottom at all. Nothing is coming. And give a cancel okay contact open then you cancel uh, and then i go to the address find the now in the profile we'll again make a check whether everything is okay or not in the profile all are there and all the four data are there now go to the address and let it not the address so click on plus <clears throat> and now say yes we don't want address mail three country is united states people make lots and lots of warranty the biggest problem with half knowledge they will not experiment on the system and then you make it we don't know why it's all happening actually i'm just learning one time f01 for client three and nobody knows. so enabling for one of them not anyway. so email <coughs> me at the rate u.com so click on save and close and the address my friend, address is now getting saved and closed uh, i'll see whether any errors come so i'll now go back to profile <clears throat> and then come back to address my friend. profile is there <clears throat> and then go to the address address is also there we'll now go to the contact directly and then try to get a contact and now see whether it is allowing or not thank you for this one <clears throat> if it allows it will be great actually <clears throat> otherwise you have to submit for approval when actually I'm going to select map, if it comes as great, it's not coming out. So you go there, it's not coming. But he now submit it. I'll again go and then make a check with the in this place. Go to the address. Address is there. Profile is also there. <clears throat> Profile is also with all the important one. And click on submit. We are submitting it at this stage. <clears throat> so you has to go for an approval now. So eight five one zero three is the one now. Right. And then click on search. So the approval process is now going on. So once it is approved, we'll now bring it to the edit mode now straight away. So now first of all go on and see on the supplier media. <clears throat> Hmm, supplier creation is now fiddled around. So nothing was any. So nothing was any. It takes a longer time, so I feel that what happens, it must be okay now. <laughs> so click on search.
somebody might have filled around on the approvals of fine duplicate you'll now see whether anybody has filled around on the place what happened you know gone now sometimes what happens the approval automatic might have been removed now and you know see whether it is now okay so go to the profile is okay fine go that not ah uh, it's all showing nothing actually from the place uh, if it go to the address fine go to the address the address must be there actually you know address those things are not coming at all come on yeah what happened this is not there at all there is some problem i will not first of all check on this one second i will not go there we will not see whether the approval is there or not first of all fine somebody might have removed it also <clears throat> or fiddled around on the approval go to the setup and maintenance people make lots and lots of changes here and there and so what happens these are the problems with the people if you make a systematic r&d and then reverse back whatever r&d you make it will be great now fine they don't think about others at all so click on search <clears throat> manage supplier approvals you know go there so manage facility sub facility even the percentage when it is go to manage supplier approvals i now go to the internal supplier profile change approvals and go on how to get for it it is there fine it is on now fine click on the read rules and then see it must be automatic actually So the rules always apply so automatically oh god it is not enabled come on <laughs> somebody has removed it open click on it i have to enable it everything is there but except enabled so it was not enabled actually <laughs> so click on save and then deploy deploy it it is not enabled fine click on deploy open we are not deploying it this is a problem this is a culprit now Now go back again, and then you know edit the supplier. <clears throat> now deploy. Now go back here. So I will now go to the profile. <clears throat> then check everything. Fine. I will now again. This time it does stop here. Go to space. I now say, I will now say more than ten years. So gender, and then I uh, give this now. Fine. Tenth past. Fine. He was saved on this stage. I mean, he was saved on this one. I am going to get my address. <clears throat> so go to the address. Since the approval is not there, he is now removing the address exactly. Since the approval is not there, the address whatever you created has been removed. Actually, here is zero one fine. Address name four. <clears throat> United States. Okay, okay. One zero zero two one zero zero two zero. I am going to tap. <clears throat> Giving this one, click on again, and then I'm going to add this line, add this line four, and then enable forwarding and remit to find what I want. Email what some email something dot com. Okay, so click on save and close by which order the address is now created. So this time it has to go popular. It's not enough. So click on submit for poll. So the number has to say that it is now approved actually. So eight six zero five one is the one now. I will not click on that. I am going to go on a bit. Eight six zero five one is the one. <clears throat> click on refresh, and then go down, and then have a look at the number. So go there. Eight six zero five one one point two one. The submit and approve has to come now. Submit and approve has to come. When the submit has come, if you click on the hyperlink also, what happens? It will not show how the approval is progressing on this module. How the approval is progressing on this? You go there. Not showing anything. So the address is not shown here clearly. The address is not shown here. It is not going there at all. If you refresh it. And then come back now. All other will long go and check over there. I'm fine. We'll long go to the manage supplies and make a check. <clears throat> and then make a check of it. I'm fine. Eight zero one is the one I'm making a check of it. I'm fine. Click on search. <clears throat> so we'll wait for the IA account to go in. I'm 
I hope that uh, that uh, tick mark is a culprit in approving it. Now, fine, click on it. Now, go there, click on it. Now, go to space. So, you know, opening it up. You know, go to the address. The address must be there. Yes, it is there. Now, fine, click on it. The address is there. So, now we can go ahead and uncase the address. Now, fine, click on the contacts. And then we now go. So, the tick mark, a simple tick mark, is a culprit in our total process. I click on it. Contact. I'm going over. So, go to the actions and then go to select NAT. So, you have to have the address available here. Address is available. Fine, click on apply and then click on OK, which is now done. <clears throat> the address is now created. So here I will now choose what yes uh, 10. Fine. It is a yes 10. Fine. Yes 10. And then last name is what n10. Fine. So the username will be s10.n10. Fine. Username will be s10.n10. Here I will now give a realistic name. Fine. It is called uh, apps.nana. Apps.nana at the rate gmail. .com. So this is supplier email, and then nana.app60 is my uh, what say, PRC10, who is the owner of the SQL, his address. No, it's all done. So go there, click on the create user account. Create user account. We are now going to get a user account. So the next topic is supplier portal. There's a very small one only. Fine, we don't have. It. So go there. We're not done. So the uh, what happens? Your uh, supplier inventory manager will now add it in there. Or what's called you this thing. So once when you go and then submit it upon submission in the apps dot nana, you will now get an information here. But I don't know why that is not enabled actually. The email is not enabled. So I don't know what to do on this. Fine. Somebody make an RD. Everything is not on. Fine. So the user account is now created. Remember, he must be a user. Then only we can send an initiative to the supplier actually. Fine. When you want to get a manual initiative, he must be a user actually. Fine. So click on save and close by which what happens? The user s yes, 10n is now created. Fine. Click on save and close now. <laughs> the contact is created. Now go on and create the site actually. Save and close, and then we'll now go ahead and then create the site actually. So you must have what everything in place actually. So we are now going to create a uh, preventive maintenance initiative. Remember, I did it some 40 years back <laughs> in 1983, and that too manually with the typewriter. Mm -hmm. It's really very, very tough now there. And then whatever I, even though I was a very junior man, but what I was, I'm youngster at the end. So everybody will now say, Nana, whatever you do is okay. <laughs> they don't even come and then interfere all the time. You can't plus now. Because at the time we learned microprocessors. And so we are all uh, like a computer experts actually. Whereas other guys don't know anything at all <laughs> on those. <no? laughs> 8085, I know the pneumatics, all the 101 pneumatics, I, was, I, know, I know it by heart actually. So that way I used to work now. <laughs> I even uh, configured one uh, microprocessor based uh, temperature controller in my factory actually uh, by buying the PCBs and other things and I did it actually. <laughs> so click on save. This is called a MUP based controller. <laughs> Very funny those days. I will go to the space and go to the invoicing. I remember this initially being done by me for long, long ago. But that is not having this much of a flag of functionality, actually. Very limited functionality only. But here in the system, computer system, they have enhanced, enhanced it to a great extent, actually. Beautifully done. After the computer, the advent of computers has really changed everybody's life, actually. Go to autocrate assignments. <laughs> oh, God, so many are coming. The control, dishum, dishum, dishum. I don't dishum everything. I don't have only one. <clears throat> so one US one is not. So only one I'm getting this. But the control, I select door, door, only one is getting select and delete. So click on delete. Not everything is not getting deleted. And select and then delete. <clears throat> I will now put Seattle as a location now. Seattle as a location. Fine. Location, location, will say now. Over there. So Seattle. <clears throat> So go there, click on it. And that's it, fine. The remaining will be dealt by the payable stream now. Fine. So we are not done everything. Fine. Autograde assignments, everything is done. So invoicing is also done now. Invoicing is called fine. Click on save and close by which what happens? The supply creation is now complete. And then whenever you have a submit button, we have to submit it. Otherwise, what happens? It will get rolled back. It will all get rolled back. So click on submit now. Fine. Submit is a must. Submit or save and close is a must whenever you have it. Upon submission, you have to get what on the apps.ly message. After that, I have to get no fine. I don't know why it's not going fine. This one, somebody make an R&D and then tell it. Not on fine. So now this is done. So since uh, the, it will be sending a URL to reset the password, actually. It will be sending a URL to set the, reset the password. So Google Alex. Okay. 
if you're sending a url to send the error is a power they're not coming so what we will do is we will now go to our uh, sysadmin and then we'll now manually since we have the power of sysadmin since it is a training instance we'll now go there and then we'll now reset the password click on it so click on it we'll now go there we'll go to the space go to the procurement now go to the procurement and then there uh what is it uh no we'll not do so we have to what i have to do now i have to reset the password i have to go to the tools <clears throat> I will go to the tools now. So go to the tools, and then I will now reset the password for it. Go to the tools, and then go to the security console. My a10 dot n10 is a s10 dot n10. Sorry, it is s10 dot n10. So I will now reset the password. <coughs> so go to the users, and then query the s10 dot n10. S10 dot n10. Where is the user now? The first name, the last name, and all that more. Let it be asked. We don't want to modify the username and all that. It's okay. S10 dot n10 is okay. No more. I will not reset the password to not reset the password. So the supplier can very well log in. Okay, ma. Okay. So the password is reset now. And then we will now add the role for the vendor managing inventory. And even though I am not doing it in the supply portal, I will not just show you. Yes. Will not go there. So the password is reset. I will now edit and then add the vendor managing inventory. So click on edit. And go over there. So go to add roles, and then let me add. It's called supplier, supplier inventory manager. So this is required for inventory manager inventory. Supplier, I N V. Come on, yeah. I N. So supplier inventory manager is the one. So this is required for vendor manager inventory. Click on add role. So click on that. It's all done now, friend. Come on. <coughs> So we can very well see the vendor manager inventory also on the supplier portal actually. So the supplier portal license is a must for your uh, what's called your SKM. If you're going to go for SKM license, you have to go for supplier portal license also. Actually. So it's not enough. So we have the vendor manager inventory and supplier inventory manager. The thank you consequent close by which we not done. So we'll now go on the login with this supplier actually on the Opera. I will now go to the Opera. I will not take copy. I will not take copy. I will now go to the Opera and then I will not log in. Go to this place. I will now log in as a supplier. Actually, both the suppliers and we have to log in on the same thing now. Only for supplier registration, the URL is different. Only for supplier registration, the URL is different. Go there. It is a ten dot n ten. Welcome on the page. Click on sign in. Oh God, what is this? Yeah, yes, ten. Sorry, yes, ten. Dot enter. Yes, ten. Dot enter. Welcome one two three. So the supplier is now logging in into the portal for which a license is required. If you don't have a license, it will not be possible at all. So he has logged in and into this place. Now. So go there. So I'll now click on the home icon. <clears throat> and then we'll now go to the supply portal directly. So click on the supply portal now. And we'll see what's going So go to the supply portal. And then go to the supply portal. Okay. <clears throat> We are now going to the supplier portal now. Now we can see the vendor manager inventory is also. He has now logged in. So we will now see whether uh, any message is coming here or not. Go to the apps dot now. So supplier profile change request has been rejected. Rejected. Okay, fine. Everything has got rejected. <laughs> we got the rejection message, but acceptance message was not coming at all. It's okay. <laughs> it's all okay. In the apps dot now. What happens? We don't get any email. Oh, see. Oracle here to the friend. Oracle Fusion Applications welcome email. No, fine, on. So he has got a welcome email. Got it. So with this link, we can very well receive the password. That is what I was telling you. So whenever you create a supplier, what happens? Even upon registration also, when the external supplier is registering it, you will not get one such mail. Once when you when you need it, what happens? You will not get a mail. So through this, we can very well receive the passwords actually. Upon registration, you will be getting it. And then upon spend authorization, also you will not get a mail. If uh, spend authorization is enabled, and then you go to for approval, and then upon approval also you will not get one more email to the supplier 
that what happens he is no student operation good 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 this mail is coming <coughs> welcome mail is come for the supplier actually is yesten dot in and you are there's no coming so now what happens you go there we will now create a initiative now fine everything is now fully set now fine so we are able to see on this one fine everything you are able to see in this place the supplier one now we are able to see the supplier initiation we'll now come back to us now fine is a is a it's called uh uh what's called you come there fine we'll come the home and then we will now go to the initiative page <laughs> And with that not. So now we are unable to reset the numbers. Now it will all be one only. And with that, so somebody please uh, make an R and D and then tell us about how why we are unable to what happens. Set the initiative and assessment numbers for that our business unit actually. With that not. You go to the procurement and then I go to the supplier qualification. PRC ten eleven etc etc. Everybody is enabled for supplier qualification or for all the modules basically. You can do the negotiations, find catalogs. Everything can be done. Everything is enabled actually for. So go to the supplier qualification. So once when you go it, then in the dashboard nothing will be there actually. It will be having nothing because no initiative has been created. So now we are going to create a preventive maintenance initiative. So there is a preventive maintenance planned next week in our company. So the plant is going to be down for approximately oh, two full days, and then uh, we are going to allocate a lot of jobs to the supplier, like what I was saying, uh, cleaning of all the equipments, and then uh, calibrating it fine, and then uh, refurbishing it, and then. Uh, Filling it up with the lube oils and other things, and then uh, there are so many activities which we normally have around 50, 60 activities to be done during the preventive maintenance on two days. Now it's a 48 hours work, and then uh, we will now select the suppliers to perform the preventive maintenance. <clears throat> so we'll now shortlist them to do it. Okay. So uh, that one we will now we are going to do it. Okay. So that is what it is. So we will now create a preventive maintenance initiative. Thank you. So there is nothing in the area. Okay. Nothing is there. Thank you. Long go that one. We'll now go and then create a preventive maintenance initiative. Create initiative. I'm going to create an initiative. Previously, we gone to manage initiative when supplier is now uh, registering it. When supplier registering it, upon supplier approval, registration approvals, and upon spend authorization approvals, the initiative gets automatically come to pending responses. It came to pending responses. Now we are manually creating it. Thank you, concrete initiative. You are now manually creating it. So click on it. Let us now create an initiative. So once we create it, the initiative number will be one now because the number I'm going to set it. Uh, how to set it? I don't know. So is what's called not a qualification, the assessment also. So we will not do the qualify as well as assess also. Fine. We will not do the qualification as assess well. So there are two things there. So I will not choose assessment. This is a business unit. I go that not. I will not say S zero one. It is preventive maintenance. Maintenance initiative. Initiate. Initiate. So the owner is this now. So every time whenever you create an initiative, there will be a owner as well as one responder. Right? Responder is eleven, and then the owner is ten. And both of them must have all the four roles now. Right? All the four roles must be given to the owner now. Right? If you go to this place, you go there. I will not go to the Oracle CM training now. I then go to the records four, and then here open up this document now. So the supplier qualification management white paper. Please read it now. It's an excellent document. Please, whenever time permits, you sit and then read it. It will now give you a lot of information on this one. And double click on it. You're going to have it. So on the tenth page, you can now see what are the roles which are there now. <clears throat> so we'll have a roles now. So all the four roles has to be given to all of us. But since we are working on vision, no role is required. Now, fine. All the four roles are inbuilt actually. Fine. Everything is inbuilt on PRC all. So no need to give. Otherwise, what happens? You give all the roles to what? The uh, what's called the procurement owner, and then the responder, and then there is one more guy called the evaluator. <clears throat> My evaluator is also that. Right? So that I am unable to fully understand the evaluator's role actually. You go through the document, and you can understand it. Right? So there is one thing on the what I must say. Uh, there are some uh, qualification areas they are given. Now, fine. Afterwards, they are not saying the questions, and then uh, there is one role of the evaluator. Actually. And I couldn't exactly understand this. Right? There is one guy called evaluator. Right? Evaluate the qualifications. Right? You will not evaluate it. And then afterwards, it will be given to the owner. Owners, and then uh, what happens? Your internal responders, then evaluators, and then what happens? These are the three people who are there now. <clears throat> so uh, we have, we will have one more extra thing called accept the responses. So when we are doing it by a supplier, what happens? Uh, there is no acceptances there. Now. When you are registering a supplier, when the supplier is registering it, there is no acceptance. But when you are creating your manual initiative, there will be one extra thing called acceptances also coming down. So the qualification manager is now going to what accept it. Right? The owner will be accepting it. Right? So it is going to accept. Manuals. Acceptance is one extra thing when you are doing it manually. What is placement of that? So the one now, fine. One now, fine. Click on create now. Any doubts? Please ask me. It is a very tough topic. It is not an easy topic at all. It is a very tough topic. You have to understand everything very clearly. So we are not doing an assessment now. Not qualification, but we are not doing an assessment. So I will not go there. I will not say it is what yes zero one fine pm preventive maintenance. So one. 
So that so click on save now. So I know saved it. I'm no saving it. So the qualification model is required for saving it actually. So initiated number is what? One zero two two three is the one. Fine. One zero two three is the one. Fine. What are the qualification model? I will not choose the exact one from that. I will not say compliance for sourcing eligibility. So this will now enable him for sourcing actually. Fine. The ready-made one is available. I'm not choosing it. Nothing. So I will not try to save. Nothing. Click on save. So once when you save it, it will now go into a draft actually. I'm not saving it. I'm going. One zero two two three will not go into a draft. I'm going. I will not save. And then what happens? I will not go there. I will now give a save and close. Nothing. Come out of it. And then see on the main page. On the main page, it will be in a draft actually. So click on refresh. Nothing. You don't see. So if you click on the refresh on the icon, and then on the what's called infolet, on the infolet, it will be coming on the draft actually. So it will not come on the draft. So it's now draft. Right. Here there is no approval at all for shooting the what is called your initiative. Fine. There is no approval at all. Fine. So I know manually creating it. Fine. So if you click on the hyperlink of it and the, the link also, what happens? It will not open up. And then we will not go ahead and then proceed on the draft actually. No, that's not. No, I did not. I did not. I'm going to edit. One zero two to three. The one I'm going to edit. Draft show. No, go there. Go there. So we are now adding the compliance for your sourcing ability. No, fine. So supplies. Fine. Click on it. I will not go to search and add, and then I will not add it. Go to search. You may add some three or four supplies. In this case, what am I? I'm going to only add only one now. Nana, sir, you are giving the owner a zero for that. One second, I will come back. So let us now add the supply. I will not come back again. Add to what happens? Add to selection. Okay, you can select it, and then you know add to selection. You know, come back to the place. So one supply has been added. Thank you for it. I will not continue. Okay, thank you for continuing. No added. So in the bottom, what happens? We have one supply. So one supply. The owner is not Calvin Roth. We had to change it. Nice, no, very correct. The owner is not Calvin Roth. Uh, Calvin Roth is okay because I am working on vision. It's okay. Fine. Since I am working on vision, Calvin Roth is okay. Fine. Calvin Roth is okay. Otherwise, I have to change it to my user now. Fine, it's okay. Calvin Roth is okay fine. because it's innovation. So the one fine. supply side, you drop it down and then choose the supply side. So the site one, and then I have to provide the internal response. Otherwise, it will not be correct. Fine. I will not put what happens. The student eleven as the internal response. Internal response is required. I will not put the internal response over here. So let me go and then put the internal response. Fine, the student, comma PRC eleven. <clears throat> So PRC eleven is the internal responder. <clears throat> so he is the internal responder for it. Click on save. So click on save. As and when you keep on proceeding it, what happens? You give a save. So Calvin Roth is correct. It's all done. <clears throat> Go down. It's all. So the owner and then the evaluation due date also we can do. Evaluation due date. No, that's not. Evaluation due date. I want to say fifteen thirty. So click on save. <clears throat> evaluation due date. No, I think I know the supplier is there. I know the orders. Is all done, nothing. And then click on next, nothing. It's okay. And then go to the evaluation team. In this evaluation team, we can even add a evaluator also. Apart from you, fine. Now Calvin Roth is the owner, procurement manager. And that. Apart from that, we can even add a evaluator. So this is explained in this document. What is the role of an evaluator actually? Fine. You read this document, you'll understand. Now. What he is going to do? Fine. Everybody's role is fully explained on the document. I don't have the patience to sit and read. <laughs> He is also almost having the same activity of a owner actually. Right? The owner's activity is that. Right? Go on and read this document. It will be giving a lot of information for you. Mm -hmm. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In general, the assessment will be done to measure the performance of an uh, supplier. Suppose we have a contract with the supplier. At the end of the contract, one or two months before, uh, we will ask the user department. Suppose we have done a five years uh, uh, maintenance with a facility yeah. management team is there, so they have taken a uh, supplier who is maintaining the whole building or the whole uh, company for uh, two or three years. Oh. So the next renewal comes. So now the uh, department needs to decide whether to. Uh, go with the same supplier, or should we go for a negotiation? Usually, they will go for negotiation, but still they want to measure the performance. So that time, they create this assessment. During the assessment, this evaluation team is no none other than the user departments who have initially uh -huh. agreed to engage this uh, team. Uh -huh. So they will <clears throat> they will include this supplier, uh, and they will keep this evaluation. Internal. The assessment is internal. So against a contract or a Your internal team actually, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, against a BPA number or B contract CPA number, uh, this whole assessment will be happening, and based on that, they will give a score. So based on that, during the negotiation or a sourcing uh, process, they will get a weightage or a 
uh, influence like uh, whether to give them priority or not so that's how it happens very good so what telik is saying is that the evaluation team will be from the facility management team the facility management team is basically what happens is hiring the suppliers so the evaluation team will be ultimately doing the assessment because whomsoever is there they are having all the four roles and then they can very well do the assessment also fine they can also very well do the assessment fine so apart from the prc then fine that is one so we can even add the evaluation team as the facility management teams members basically this is what is very good you want to go right so go there then wait now uh, uh it is all done now fine so the assessment and the evaluation team on the first the second configuration is not complete i'll go to the person now thank you come question i'll go to the next one i click on next and then go to the person now next and then i go to the person <clears throat> so we have got a sourcing eligibility fine go there so uh, send questionnaire to supplier contact as well as the interim response fine everybody will be sent complete it will all be sent okay. so the name of the qualification is compliance fine okay. everything is okay and go there and then click on next <clears throat> so everything is ready now fine go there so uh, click on next <clears throat> and then we are going to review it now okay. we won't review it and then it doesn't go for any approval fine go there so section is what compliance and then in the review what happens you can now see that uh, do you agree to the code of conduct actually so there is one code of conduct agreement is there i am not changing it because i am in vision only and so if he is saying yes the response is attachment is a must not okay yes so the supplier has to give a response basically <clears throat> so, so click on it and then i am now going to launch the initiative itself that's it and there is only one question for him now fine for the supplier and then you will be giving and reality what happens you will be adding multiple questions basically in this one they got only one question on the compliance actually so we are adding multiple from the launch so click on launch now right? click on launch so remember the compliance has got internal evaluation by the responder also we have a internal evaluation by the responder along with that what's called the code of conduct code of conduct so the second question is for the internal responder so what is so here does it show the internal responder one uh, drop it down section one uh, there is only one section actually so the internal responder question is not shown here at all it is not shown here and that's not and then go there click on it i will now launch the initiative so no, what no, sir i think you have to click on that show questioner internal or supplier i think right there maybe this is for supplier right uh this is the there is a radio button right uh, the one which uh, you are saying for internal that won't show oh, for oh yeah 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 very correct very correct so if you click on the radio button internal i think it will not show the internal question yes very correct if you go to the internal it will not show the internal response fine so full compliant or a compliance with exception or out of compliance will not show very correct so on the show questionnaire if you switch the radio button to internal it will not show the internals one and then on the supplier area it is not showing all the supplier area got it very correct not showing fine. you are all accepting everything and then you can even preview it and then finally launch the, the initiative is going to be launched fine. you can even switch to internal and then see the internal question also so click on launch by which what happened the initiative gets launched fine. it is all launched 10223 is launched you are about to launch fine. click on yes by which what happens the initiative is launched right so once when the initiative is launched the message will go to the supplier in the supply portal what happens will be so supplier will be uh, doing the activity only from what happens here this so questionnaire is sent to the following numbers of suppliers fine one supplier and then one intern responder has got set it has been sent so click on it and then click on turn off fine 10223 fine click on that and the main area you can now see that it was in draft actually it was initially in the draft so once when you refresh it it will now come to what pending responses now so if you click on refresh on the from draft it will be coming to pending responses <coughs> so we are not pending what am i saying there is a pending response there so we will now go to the supply portal and then he is going to respond back right you want to go to the supply portal thank you all we'll now go to the supply portal and then here uh, this will be coming anything or not i am not sure about it so let me log out and log in fine right? the supply portal let me log out and log in we will now see whether any change on the info let is there or not we'll see again there is no data available <clears throat> so click on confirm and then i am now logging out and logging in on the supply portal So click on sign in now. Fine. We are logging it and lo logging out and logging in on the supply portal. <clears throat> so I'm having a look at it. Fine. Fine. So here I have to get one require your attention now because now the supply has to respond back on this now. Fine. So it doesn't. Yes, no problem. So there is one questionnaire which is available. Fine. Requiring attention is there. So if you click on it, it will not take you directly to the questionnaire. You want it? It will not directly take you to that. So it is requiring his attention actually. Supply his attention is not coming. You want it? It is not taking you over. Otherwise, we can even go via the other navigation. Instead of the info let, what you can do is you can go via normal navigation. In the bottom, what am I? They will be having a navigation. Fine. The qualifications. So in the qualifications, you will not click on the manage qualifications. 
click on the manage call question there is no manage qualification i am going to give manage qualification i am going to give so there is one manage and then one view is there so you come back to the same name so select it and you going to respond thank you for respond so you know going to respond on the code of conduct actually <clears throat> So he will now read the code of conduct which is written there on this one in this file, and then he will now say yes, <laughs> he agreed to the code of conduct, and then he will now he will respond to it. So it will have some questionnaire, and then on which whatever you will now append his answers on this now, and then he will now make that as attachment. Append his answers. I will not. I will not go to actions. I will not go to add. You know, supplier is going to add it. Uh, one. Click on choose a file. <clears throat> go there. Show all files. Uh, okay, CP attachment is working. Too much. I'm not putting much. So this will be the code of conduct with his answers actually. In the code of conduct with his answers will be attached. Thank you. So now what happens? He is going to submit it. Thank you. So, so he will now submit it. So he has now done these answers. Now the supplier is going to submit. Thank you for submitting. He will now submit it. So it will go back to the owner actually. So the response to question has been submitted. Thank you. Click on that. So we will not come back to our place. No, thank you. So if you give a refresh, what happens? It will be coming to what? Pending acceptance. Next is what? Acceptance. Fine. Acceptance is a new one on a manual one. Thank you. So click on review. <clears throat> Go there. So we will not see what happens. A pending response is still one because supply, the internal responder is not yet responded. Fine. Internal responder is not yet responded. So we had to uh, respond it internally also. Fine. So we will know uh, what happens. We will now go to the response. Internal responder is not going to respond. So internal responder is not responded. So let him respond. He can respond only after the supplier has responded. And after supplier responded, now uh, that has become a pending. Had a scene without responding, uh, it is not possible. At all. Only when you when you respond, then only it becomes. So we'll now go to Mozilla browser and then let us know login as what PRC eleven. He is the internal responder. We are going to login as what PRC eleven actually. Now go to statement one. So it's a PRC eleven. PRC 11. Student. Welcome, one, two, three. Fine, we already cleared the password actually. I don't remember. You yeah, know, logging in at the so PRC 11. Who is the intent responder? So he is not the owner of this 10223 initiative. And so what happens on the infolet? Nothing will be visible for him actually. He cannot say anything at all. So whatever he has initiated, that will be visible. We will not go to the procurement. Since he all also has all the roles, fine, PRC all is a role where all the six models can be done by any of the PRCs basically. So go to the procurement, everything will be visible. Fine. He will not go to the supply qualification. Since he has not created an initiative or he is not a owner of any of the initiative, here what happens? You won't find anything, any information on the info at all. Nothing is there for you. So what he will do is he will not go there. The only activity he is going to do is what? Manage questionnaires. There is the only one he is going to do. You will not go to the manage question <clears throat> So you will not go on that. Do the manage question okay. no go there. So you will not select them and you will respond. So you will not go via supplier and then see all the things, whatever is then given off. And go there. So he has got two things. One is a full complaint or a complaint with the exceptions or out of compliance. No? You will not choose complaints with the exception of thank you for it. You not choosing it now. Thank you for it. And then this is the response is mandatory. Actually. Thank you for it. So we will not put one more file. Okay. Some other file will be there. So he is now going to give his recommendation basically. He is not going to give his recommendation. So the internal responder's recommendation. I'm not saying one. EMM quantity is working. So he is now attaching his file. So click on OK. So by which his response is attached. <clears throat> he will now say uh, uh, COMP with exceptions. With exceptions, he is not doing it. And click on submit. By which one of his response is also submitted. So the supplier's response is submitted. The internal responder's response is also submitted. So the internal responder response is also submitted. So you know, submitted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now come back to ours. Now thank you. Thank you. Now come back to the owners. If you refresh it, the pending responses will go away. Thank you. Now click on it. The pending responses will go away. Now what happens? The acceptance is also not coming. Okay. In some cases, I know that. We have to accept it. I don't know when we have to accept it. This is now got automatically accepted now. Fine. Received and then accepted also. Fine. Click on the accept. Maybe because of it. Because in some cases, I have seen that what happens. Uh, we, he, this guy has to practically accept it. It will be coming as a pending acceptance. If you click on that now, what happens? He has to accept it. I don't know when this acceptance uh, will be coming into picture now. Fine. If you click on it now, I'll go on and see. 
somebody make an r and d number it is coming as accepted because internal is accepted means what sub it is accepted or what i don't know since internal is accepted if you click on the uh, accepted what happens it it is not accepted it's not coming as accepted <clears throat> so that may be the reason uh, but uh, uh, there is a possibility that what happens the internal may not be getting accepted straight away now <clears throat> so there is a one so i don't know how to what happens the stop from this now fine because now internal response to acceptance itself is accept actually acceptance is one extra stage in this play one you know so it is now accepted fine the last initiative is not accepted now we have to complete the qualification fine we have to complete the qualification after qualification then only what about the evaluation <coughs> what you will do is <coughs> you know go there i am the owner actually i will not go to the manager initiatives you know come to the pending evaluation also so i will make a search now click on search now showing 10223 fine that not if you go to the edit now fine click on edit it is in progress now actually so go to the what's called uh, we are bring it to the edit mode now fine what happened actions has to come now select it and then click on edit mode now click on edit mode if you click on edit mode so the action has to come fine only save and close is coming come on here i don't understand fine not now sir click click more on the info letter info letter okay okay fine info okay once again i will now go to the what manage initiative is there fine whatever now yes to yeah. go to the qualifications actually but uh, uh, it he was be able to monitor but there is actually in the inflow itself nana na, sir when he goes inside right you saw there is uh, for this guy acceptance was coming actually so he can accept from there right so say but is he here also on monitor is there monitor icon is there mm -hmm. the click on the monitor icon and go to the monitor icon because actions monitor the one that is not coming there fine in the monitor icon is now showing you so receive responses and accept responses coming fine go there so it's coming over here so you can you hear actions is coming Once when you come into the monitor mode, you can now what happens? The do this now. Edit initiative, duplicate, or whatever this. Of course, over there. So the monitor is outside actually, not inside actually. And the edit mode is not coming. Monitor is coming separately. So now he is now going to what respond on the qualifications actually. So once for the qualifications, go to respond. Fine, over there. So you now go to respond on the qualifications. Fine, complete the qualification. You now complete the qualification actually. Over there. So let us now complete the qualification. Thank you, Mark. So you got what uh, ready for evaluations? What one qualification is ready? One qualification is ready. So one qualification is ready. <coughs> go there. So click on it. You will now go to what manage manage qualifications now. Right? So manage uh, qualifications. You will now go to the qualifications. You don't have any questions at all. He has got only manage qualifications. He has got only complaints. The same thing or not. You will now click on it. He is now going to what manage qualifications. Right? You are going to evaluate. The But Nana sir, when he created the initiative, he created the we created just the assessment, not qualification, right? The type we choose was After assessment, right? Next is assessment. After qualification only assessment will come. Fine. We create an assessment for assessment. Okay. The qualification is a must. Actually. Okay. Now you are going to create a qualification for uh, for this uh, guy. Yeah. Okay. I am going to create a qualification on the compliance one. And then okay. after that, I will not complete the assessment. Okay. Okay. Since if for the qualification, it will end at this stage. If for the assessment, qualification and assessment will be okay. So go there. So first is qualification. Right? This has to be getting completed. So go to the manage qualifications, and then here I will go there to connect. I am going to wait now. Now go there. So if the thing is coming. You have to evaluate the qualification. Select it, and then whatever you know, evaluate it. Fine. Click on evaluate. So once you select the coming, evaluate the qualification. You know, go to evaluate the qualification. So he will now see the supplier's response as well as the internal people's response. So click on it. <clears throat> supplier's response and then internal. Right? So code of conduct. What happens? He has got attachment. If you click on the attachment, what the supplier has provided, you can see now. <clears throat> The supplier has given a quota for attachment. Fine, the CPA attachment is coming. If you will now open it up and then see, and then the internals guys, what happens? The compliance, the exception, he has also attached. You will now have a look at it now. So having looked at both, then what happens? You will now decide what to do on this now. Fine, you go to evaluate the qualification. Fine, you will now go there. I will now go to this place and go there. So you will now give us this thing. Fine. So qualification outcome is what? You will now say compliance with exception. Now, fine, with the exception. With the exception, and then share the supplier also. In the summary, I am going to share it now. Fine. But this I am unable to see on the supplier at all. Note to supplier: Fine, <clears throat> QA, LI, FID, qualified with the exceptions. I am unable to see this message in the supplier's login action in the supplier portal. I am unable to see it. I don't know how to do it. No, fine, what else? So share the summary. You are not giving it. And then whenever you are what happens? You qualifying a original call, and then you have to give a date. No, fine. I will not give from today's date, eleventh one. <clears throat> I will not go there. Click on OK. No, fine. I will not give a date up to what? Let us say twentieth. So, if you are giving up to let us say twenty-six only, 
then what happens? Your assessment has to be within 26, <clears throat> within this date only. Assessment cannot be beyond this date, sector, <clears throat> because qualification is ending on this. Date. So this is a very important one. I'm going to click on it. So you're not putting it. I'm going to, so uh, what happens? You'll not finalize it. Right? From 12th to what happens? 11 to 26 only we are giving it. Now, click on finalize. The qualification is not finalized. We are not finalized the qualification. So qualification has been finalized now. And then if you click on search, the status is ready for evaluation. If you search for it, what happens? It will be ready for something else. Now see what is this, this thing. <clears throat> so it is not coming. Fine, go that. I will now select all and then query now. And click on solve. And then click on search. Mode. And then again, what happens? My role as what as all. Fine, it's not coming. Okay, fine, it's active. Actually. So status is active. Actually. So this qualification has become active. Actually. The qualification was ready for evaluation. Now the qualification has become active. So now you can see the qualification is completed. It is now ready for evaluation. You can refresh now whatever the qualification is ready. So pending evaluation is still there now. My pending evaluation is still there. So completed qualification. Now assessment is pending. Had I begin, begin the, uh, my uh, preventive maintenance initiative only for qualification, do not stop at this stage. Since we made it as an assessment, we'll go to assessment. Assessment is pending. So now ready for evaluation is what? Zero qualification and one assessment. Fine. Previously it was one and then zero. Now it has become zero and one. One is ready for assessment. You can even go via this now, fine. If there is any uh, hyperlink out there. So if you click on the hyperlink also, we can go down. If you click on the info, let's hyperlink. It will not take you to the assessment area. Fine. This is assessment which is now ready for evaluation. Fine. Evaluation. So now if you click on that. Or otherwise, we can even go via navigation. We can even go via navigation. So zero qualification, one assessment is there. Fine. So you click on it. And then here, I will now go to the manage assessment. Fine. Go to the manage assessment. From there also, you can see. Either via info, let or via navigation, we can even go. So go that point. Now select it. Fine. Fine. Click on evaluate assessment. Fine. Click on evaluate assessment. So I am now going to evaluate the assessment. Fine. Click on evaluate assessment. We are going to do it now. Click on it. <clears throat> so we will be evaluating the assessment. Actually. You can go that. I will now say outcome is what? Five star or four star or three star. Fine. Go that. Three star. Fine. <clears throat> uh, I will now say eligible. <clears throat> for source. And then I will now, what I'm going to share with the suppliers. Fine. <clears throat> I will now say eligible for source. So RFQs and RFA, RFQs, RFA, everything can be done. And then here, assessment started is today. And then if you give what happens beyond 26, it will not throw an error. Assessment in date, if you go on and say, what happens, you know, you know, see, after 26, is grayed out, actually. So beyond 26, we cannot even choose as such. Fine, it's all grayed out, actually. If you choose even 26, we will not see whether it is in this, okay. And see, it, it should be before this time, actually. So 24, I will not say make it as 34, no, fine. That minute is also mattering, no, fine. 34, if you go and then give fine, 10 minutes before, we are done it, no, fine. So 10 minutes before, the assessment is going to be here now. So between the 12th and 26, and then it was uh, somewhere in 40 or something like that, fine. So four minutes before. So 34 is okay. Fine, the assessment is going to end at this stage. So afterwards, we have to reassess. Fine. So click on it. We are given everything, fine. Click on finalize, by which whatever the assessment is complete. Fine. So we are finalizing the assessment. Fine. So that click on it. Assessment has been finalized. So if you go for it, what happens? You know, see, this is ready for evaluation. Fine. Go for search for it. Fine. Search for all. And then my role, not as an evaluator, but as all. So Tilak has told about the evaluator's role. Now, fine. So evaluator will be from a, what's called your uh, uh, maintenance team or the, the what's called the facilities team. That's what he's saying. So those members will be doing the evaluation. So even this process, the owner may not be doing it. The whole activity of what your qualifications and assessment will be done by the evaluator. Actually. That is what it is. And click on the fine. So by which whatever we have completed one full cycle of what that thing. So now in the infolet, there won't be anything pending as such. In this place, if you go to the infolet, nothing will be pending as such. <clears throat> so if you click on refresh now, fine. The assessment is completed. Nothing will be pending. Thank you. Nothing will be pending as such. It's all complete now, fine. So this completes your SQM supplier qualification management. Any doubts on this now? What will be the information which will go to the supplier now? Yeah, yeah. No, is... have a look at it. It's not going to the supplier at all. If you go to the supplier, I will not log out and log in and see. Fine. The message has to go to the supplier. Now, I don't know where, it will not come as a one, or I don't know where exactly the supplier can see it now. We will not see. Fine. I am unable to understand this now. Yeah, you know, no, will, will it be awarded now for uh, uh, this order now? Uh, yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. been qualified for this, right? We can now put the supplier on. So, okay, okay. We will now put it in RFQ and the RFQ. Okay. It was optional second because it has been made eligible. Now. So that message has been communicated to the supplier. Where to see on the supplier portal? No, fine. It must be visible on the supplier portal somewhere. No, fine. Somebody make an R and D and then tell me where exactly is visible on the supplier portal. 
fine. Nothing is available here now, sir. And then if you go to the qualification area, view qualifications. If you click on the view qualifications, we can very well view the qualification of the qualification area. <clears throat> view it up and that. So you know, three star. Ah, it is coming. Yes, yes, yes. Eligible for sourcing as well as the qualification, the exceptions. Okay, fine. The note is also fine. Good thing. I have not seen it yet. Sir. So if you click on the compliance for sourcing eligibility, you can now see the note to supplier also. Fine, okay. The three star. And then you can now see the other information also. Good thing. Qualified with exceptions. <clears throat> So the message has been communicated to the supplier also. Great. Game. So we are now completed the SQM. Fine, brother. One for the registration of uh, suppliers, external registration, and then with the uh, registration approvals and print authorized approvals, and then at first continuing it, or otherwise creating a manual initiative and then completing it. So we will now go for a break, and then we will now begin the supplier portal activity. So it's now what am I Six eighteen now. Fine. So 6.35 will not begin. Okay? 6.35 we will not begin with the next activity. Fine. I will not make that is a Bala as my what is it? make a co-host now. Fine. On co-host. So, co so activity on supplier what is it? SQM is now complete. It's a very tough one because writing the what's called the questionnaire is a very difficult one. And then uh, what happens uh, as uh, Tichil as uh, what happens you saying and Telek was saying that what happens, the facilities management team will be uh, having an evaluator. Those evaluators only will evaluate the qualification assessment and not the owner actually. Because they are both are having the same power actually. So they will be doing it. That is what he's saying in the field. <clears throat> so any other value addition schedule <clears throat> on this now? Great. <clears throat> no, no, sir, I have to, I need access to those documents that you show in the video. Everything you have access now, fine. Read the 02 document. Zero to record. Zero to record. Yeah, if you go on and look at the zero to record, it will not tell you everything on this one. Why are you not watch that record at all? You all missed it. I will not go to the drive. Drive dot Google dot com. If you go there, in this one, you'll be having this one. <clears throat> if you go to the fusion six pillars one. In this one, the zero to record will tell you how my drive is organized actually. This one will not tell you how the intro to ERP. In the first 15 minutes, it will not tell you how my drive is organized. Right? Fine. And then you have in the last one documentation. Last one, you will not find the documentation. Card. So, whatever you know, download the SCM documentation. Have you seen it first of all? This one. <laughs> so, plus, first of all, what the zero to record. Okay, Deepak? Okay, okay. okay. No, no. <clears throat> so now 51, this is the 56th one. Any other doubts for anybody? <clears throat> we'll now become the next pillar called supplier report, actually. <clears throat> we'll now come back and go. I will now leave in the, at the 6.30 way, we are going to begin the next session. Any other doubts for anybody else? Good. So I will now leave meeting and then come back. So please don't leave away, be here now. <clears throat>